Welcome to Photo Plus. We're going to look at the basics of working with layers. Now layers are effectively separate, so when you're working on a layer, you're choosing to work on that layer alone. So you're only affecting the content on that layer and not the other layers. For example, in this image, it has been split up so that the sky is on a different layer to the foreground. We can show or hide layers like this simply by clicking this icon next to the layer. So because layers allow us to separate the content in our document, what this means is we can add adjustments or modifications that only affect certain layers. So for example, if I add a curves adjustment here and I bring this window down so I can see more of the adjustment, we'll see currently it's affecting the entire image. If, however, I right-click this adjustment and choose Clip to Layer Below, which of course is the sky layer here, we'll notice it then only affects the sky layer. So if I go ahead and hide this layer, we can see it only modifies the tone of the sky, which is more obvious if we start adjusting the effect in real time. We can also create layers from scratch and work on them separately. So down here, for example, I can click the new layer icon and name this layer Overlay and click OK. So I can work on this layer now without modifying the rest of the image. So for example, what I might do is select the paintbrush tool and on the brush tip tab here, select the effects clouds category and choose one of these brushes near the bottom. I can then set the color to white here and bring the opacity down to about 25%. So with this layer selected, I can then begin painting over the clouds here. So I'm building up the brightness of the clouds. I can also increase the brush size to cover a wider area. And also you'll notice we've added a, a slight sheen to the edge of the cliff here. So a bit of a diffuse effect. But this is the versatility of layers. You see, I can simply choose to hide this layer and I have completely hidden what I've just done. So I'll go ahead and show the layer again. So we can also build up some foreground overlay. And for example, we might choose a black at a slightly lower opacity and begin darkening the foreground like so. So layers are incredibly versatile. They basically allow you to work non-destructively, so you can build up as many layers as you want with as many effects and overlays as you wish. But at any time, you can always choose to revise what you have worked on. Well, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask on the Serif Community Plus forums. Thank you for watching.